Our market for fried chicken consists of a demand curve showing the behaviour of consumers of fried chicken and a supply curve representing the suppliers of fried chicken. Given these demand and supply curves, the market is in equilibrium at a price of four rand per piece, where the quantity demanded is 3,000 pieces and the quantity supplied is 3,000 pieces. Let's now consider what happens if there's an increase in the income of households. How do you think an increase in income will affect the market for fried chicken? A rise in income boosts the demand for fried chicken. Households can now afford to buy more fried chicken at each price. This is indicated by a rightward shift of the demand curve. According to our new demand curve, at the old equilibrium price of 4 rand, the quantity demanded is now 4,200 pieces. But the quantity supplied is still only 3,000 pieces. The supply curve hasn't shifted. Well, why would it? None of the factors that affect the supply have changed. Income, Y, is not part of the supply equation. So, the market has shifted out of equilibrium, with households demanding more than is being supplied. The excess demand, the difference between the quantity demanded and the quantity supplied, is equal to 1,200 pieces. So, a disequilibrium now exists. In any free market where choice governs market trends, one side can't be dissatisfied indefinitely and at some point corrective forces come into play to ensure that the market moves back towards equilibrium. But what are these mysterious forces that keep the market in check? 